Okay, well, Billy, five under 66, obviously a good start. Hopefully that's something you're happy with. Just a few thoughts about today. Yeah, really good round of golf today. Um, like I said, I feel like I've been, you know, playing this way for the last month or so. Uh, you know, I just haven't made, you know, the putts or got the momentum going. And, and I honestly didn't make a lot of putts. I think I made one putt outside 15 feet, and that was on number two. Um, just played a really solid round of golf. Uh, obviously, it could have been better, but uh, I'm pleased with the way the game's been trending the last month. And uh, I'm not shocked that, you know, I was able to play a, a quality round of golf today. Now that you've been able to kind of put one quality round of golf, does it take a little bit of that pressure off your off your shoulders on trying to find this round or trying to find some consistency? Mm. I don't. I, you know, I think what it does is just sort of uh, validates you know everything we've been doing. Um, you know, sometimes when you're working hard and you're seeing the results in practice and and you feel like you've prepped well uh, leading into a tournament and it's not transferring over, you're not seeing that in the tournament or seeing all the, the good work you put in. Um, it sort of can be a little frustrating at times, but I think it's just more of a, a validation that uh, you know we're, we've been doing great stuff and it was just a matter of time. As long as I, as long as I didn't uh, become impatient, then you know we were gonna start playing some good golf sooner or later. How, how were the conditions with the heat and the wind? Listen, I'm born and raised in Florida. Heat's never gonna affect me. Wind's never gonna affect me. Uh, the wind though, it did swirl out there a little bit. I, I thought I hit a couple good uh, iron shots that were a lot closer that didn't turn out, you know, came up a little shorter, flew a little bit longer. But, um, yeah, like I said, born and raised in the heat, it can't be too hot for me. Billy, I just wanted to get uh, your reaction to the memo that Jay put out last night, just uh, what you think of it and if you've talked to other players about it. You know, I haven't. Um, I saw it late last night before I went to bed. I read it. Uh, listen, I, I'm very happy that Jay's back. Um, you know, I think we all respect Jay and understand he's done a tremendous job for the PGA Tour uh, as ten, uh, in his tenure as commissioner. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Jay. I know he cares a lot about the players. He cares a lot about this tour. Um, and sometimes that can get lost. People can forget about that. And at the end of the day, he wants to do what's best for the players in the tour. And that's what he's relayed to me since he's come back. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, being more transparent is what we all would like out here, understand that they always can't be transparent to the fullest effect because there's just things you just can't, you know, you know, tell us right away. Things aren't done, deals aren't done, you know, frameworks, stuff like that is, is still in the early stages. And so um, it's a step in the right process uh, for the guys out here who, um, you know, felt a little hurt by, you know, the way things went down. So um, kudos to Jay and to the PGA Tour to, you know, taking a step forward and, and uh, you know, trying to be more transparent going forward. And like I said, that's what they've uh, mentioned to us and that's what they want to do. And they obviously they want to get our input because in the, the day, um, you know, we we are a part of the tour. It's, I don't think it's a member run organization. I've said that many times. I think it's a member input tour, but we're a part of the tour and they want to make sure that our voices are heard as well.